Hello everyone. Yes. Uh, welcome back to my channel. And uh, for today's video, I am going to answer a question from the viewer uh, about documents needed when you want to marry a Pakistani. So stay tuned until the end. So let us start. It's actually very simple. If you are if you are a foreigner, whatever nationality that you have, uh, except maybe for U.S. because they might have a different kind of law, but uh, most of the necessary or yeah the necessary documents that you really need are that, are just this. <laughs> have these documents to marry with a Pakistani. Passport and visa is the most important one to get married. If you are going to get married in the Philippines for my Kababayans, okay, uh, I'm sorry but I need to speak in English because uh, some of my viewers are uh, not not Filipina. I know and that Filipinas can understand whatever I am going to discuss because uh, we are proudly can say that we Filipinas understand English and can speak English as well. Although there might be some problem in accent, but that's not a problem at all, as long as we can understand. And that is the good thing for us Filipinos. As I said, yeah, the basic or the necessary documents that we need really are the passport and uh, visa. And I have mentioned already what kind of visa that you needed for you to get married or you are going to get married with a Pakistani. First thing, if you are going to get married in Pakistan, those are the only thing that you need. Or whatever kind of marriage that you want, even it's in, in the uh, Nika, in the mosque, or uh, port marriage. There are some additional documents in a court marriage, but if you are a foreigner, there is no need. Just your passport and your visa. And uh, of course, that is the basic. And as, I, as they said, the witness, the two witnesses can be provided by the court. That's easy to get married here in Pakistan. But then you have to make sure that there is no hindrances or there is no problem in your country it means you are not married in your country or your husband or your ex-husband will not make any obstacles or hindrances to stop or or your ex-husband has no reason to stop your marriage or to sue you because of that marriage in the Filipinas maybe you are going to question if you need a senomar Actually, here in Pakistan, it's not needed at all. Uh, it's not, uh, they will not ask your say no more if you're single or what. Uh, they will just ask your passport and your visa. The friends, if you will get married in the Philippines, then you have to uh, have a say no more or showing that you are really single and you are not yet married. I'll share my own experience as well. I married in, in the Philippines back in 2000 right and uh we we have a court marriage and that's the only um uh, the only documents that my husband presented to them is the pass is his passport and his uh visa as well and of course uh the money that they gave to the bride or to me as uh actually it's not a dowry mohair or I don't know how they call it or how they pronounce it, but this is the money that they are going to give to the bride be, uh, during Nika. Uh, the Nika will not be uh, done until unless they promise or they give this money to the bride. This money is up to them if how much they can give, even just 5000 or 2000 or 10000 It depends on the groom if how much they want to give to the bride. And that is compulsory. That is an Islamic law that they have to follow. So those are the only documents that you need if you really want to get married with a Pakistani in Pakistan. If you want to marry in the Philippines, then he needs those documents. 
And of course, yung ating mga documents na uh, hinihingi ng ating batas. So, yun yung pagkakaiba. Mayroon lang kaunting pagkakaiba. But then, everything is the same. If you will marry there, uh, yun, you just need, the, he needs those documents, the passport and the visa. If you will marry him here in Pakistan, then you need the passport and the visa. And I have discussed already what kind of visa that you needed to get married here in Pakistan. Of course, he needs those documents that his country needs to ask from him. They don't have any um, Senomar or singleness certificate. They don't, they don't have that kind of uh, certificate because they are Muslim country. They don't need to prove that they are single because they can marry more than one as long as they can. I mean, they can afford financially, emotionally, and of course, physically. Now, the next question is, if you have those documents already that you needed, if you want a very simple uh, marriage just for uh, nikah, then that's all that you need. And if you want a formal marriage, if, or if you are planning to have a formal marriage, and that is uh, another thing. Here in Pakistan, uh, marriage is very expensive. And uh, even though the religion is saying a very simple way of marriage, and that is nikah. Their nikah should be of, in a very simple or solemn uh, ceremony only. But because of cultures and traditions, it changes and it, it becomes very expensive. Actually, they adapt it from Indian culture and traditions. If you plan to have a formal uh, marriage, then uh, uh, four days of celebrating the wedding. These are those wedding days. That is depends on, uh, on the family and it depends on what kind of weddings they plan. But as I said, if you want this kind of marriage or formal marriage, as they called it, that is that is the wedding celebrations that they are doing here in Pakistan. If you want to plan this kind of marriage also, as a woman, you must be ready or you must have money to provide those uh, dowry. What are those dowries that they are actually king of dowry? We have a very wrong per per perceptions about it. When I when I was in the Philippines, I, I thought that the dowry is from the man, but actually it's not. It's actually from the woman. The dowry is from the part of the woman or the bride. The bride's family will provide uh, the basic needs of the bride to uh, make her home ready. Those basic needs like uh, are the furniture, refrigerator, crockery, right? All the things that they need in the kitchen, bedrooms. Uh, it, it, when, it, when it comes to bedrooms, it means each set of bedrooms. And if you are, if you have money, you can also, or if the family of the woman has money, they also, they, of course, they provide goals. So those are the dowries that they are providing, or the family of the bride are providing for their daughter. So that's why for them, uh, marrying the daughter is very expensive because of the dowry. These are just traditions and culture. It's not in Islam. It's not the teaching of Islam. It's uh, if you will follow of, uh, the way of, mar of marriage in Islam, it is very simple. Before I end up this video, I just want to add up another uh, information. If you are going to marry with a Pakistani, especially here in Pakistan, that is, you have to keep in mind or set your mind that once you marry the Pakistani, especially if he is a Muslim, you will be automatically converted to Islam. Very rare are not converted to Islam. All for today, and I hope that this video can help or those information that I provided to you can help you 
and can enlighten whatever uh, the questions that you have in your mind if you want to marry here in Pakistan. As I said, again, it is very simple to get married here in Pakistan with a Pakistani. All you need to have is the visa, of the visa, the date of entry here in Pakistan, and the passport, of course. And it should be all valid and not expired. Thank you so much for watching. See you on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Have a great day!